Uh, I'm going to go over how to use the flow graph to get entities to move in this case. Uh, so to start with, I've brought my uh, layer or level in from, from SketchUp and uh, I'm going to just start selecting some of the pieces to, uh, and add the flow graph. So I'm going to quickly show you, here's a, a finished one and then we'll do another one so you can see. So uh, we've got a start input that goes uh, uh, and gets the location of the object, adds a number to it and moves it. Uh, might be a little bit complex to start with um, and if we go into game so you can see that it, by default it's automatically going up uh, so that that uh, is the basic idea so uh, let's quickly start doing that so I'm going to select an element so here uh, you can right click on it or uh, to create a graph or you can come down in the properties and hit under flow graph it's got create uh, so I can um, add it to another one uh, um, or create a new one. So to start with you have no uh, moving ones in here so we're going to create a new one. So we're going to move to score 02 uh, in this case. So uh, and you'll end up coming up with a blank canvas uh, something like this. So uh, there's a few things. So for this one we're just going to do it as a start point so we're going to add start node uh, and then we need to get uh, a position or the position of the object so that we know where it is um, uh, so right click add node and under entity uh, where are we? get position uh, so, uh, and then, uh, so what this does is whatever entity we select or that is associated with the graph will um, allow it to move. So in this case I'm going to get it to associate with the graph. So I'm going to go assign graph entity, uh, the second one down. Uh, uh, and then, I'm gonna, so on game it's going to say get the information from here uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add to that position so because we want it to move in a certain direction so uh, which is a special little uh, node for that which is called vector 3 which adds to whatever position we're at so we're going to take uh, in this case the position but you can see there's a number of things that we can play with uh, uh, later on so we're going to take it up to that one and this is a little uh, math sort of node that can add things to it so in this case uh, we've got an input of A we're going to use B as the um, so it's the A plus B uh, so we're going to add to the B we want it to go up in the Z uh, and we're going to go up to mm, not 20, 2 metres <coughs> so, uh, so we uh, are starting in a position We've got X, Y, Z, so we want it to go up, so we've got the Z, and we're going to go into 2 metres. So now we need to actually move it, so we're going to uh, add another node uh, under Movement, uh, Move Entity 2. And you can see there's some rotate uh, ones as well, which we can play with. So here, Move Entity 2, let's come in, uh, click the middle mouse, and you can sort of pan around. So the middle mouse button allows you to pan, you can zoom in and out. By scrolling the middle mouse uh, as well <coughs> so now we want to hear what entity we're going to move so I'm going to again assign the graph entity so that's the one that is open and this is going to allow us to apply this to a number of objects quickly so here uh, I'm going to go out to destination and then the next thing that we need to do is set how fast so Sorry for that. Um, uh, so we need to set a speed. So this is in meters per second. So I want it to go two meters per second. So it's going to go up two meters in in uh, one second. Uh, uh, and that's basically what we need to do. We need to then activate it. So in this case, we're going to uh, go up here and start. 
So as soon as I jump into the game, it's going to uh, uh, start. So that's a very basic one. So quickly, let's move this out of the way. And then and now uh, click in the game and hit Control G to start. So you can see they've both gone up uh, into the game, which is quite exciting. So quickly, I'm going to um, try and add this to another uh, uh, piece. So come over here. And it's got uh, right click, create flow graph, and I'm going to add move to to it as well. So, so I've just uh, fully loaded that on. So if we go Control G, uh, it didn't quite work. So I don't quite know what happened there. I'll just pause and find out. Hang on.